So in this series of six videos, I'm going to show you how I've created these different text effects. I'm going to be starting with the impact font and the page size I'm using is A4. If you want to get similar results with the different settings, then you need to be working at the same scale. So let's get started. So next one down. This one, we're going to cut this retro stripy design. So let's see if we can reproduce this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw out some rectangles. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. I want to make sure it's long enough to cover our writing. I'm going to go back to my selection tool. I want to convert this to a path. So I'm going to come up to um, path, down to object to path. So it's no longer a rectangle. It's just, if we get the nodes tool, it's a path. We can press control D to duplicate it in my selection tool. And I'm going to hold down control to constrain our movement so I can just drag it straight down vertically and if we hold on to this center arrow we can just shrink down the width so we've got a smaller section at the bottom. So now we're going to use something called interpolation to create a series of rectangles. So what happens is we can change from one shape to another in a series of steps and we can also make it so it changes from one color to another in a series of steps. So if we give this top rectangle a nice bright red. We select the bottom rectangle and we give this one a nice bright yellow. And then we can hold down shift, select the second rectangle. Then we can come up to extensions, down to generate from path and down to interpolate. And that opens up our interpolation box. Um, in here, we want to interpolate the style, which uh, cause it to transition from red to yellow in the series of steps. Uh, we can use Z order. I tend to use discard extra nodes for longer paths. This tends to give better results, I find. And down at the bottom, we just want to turn on live preview so we can see what's actually happening. And it creates our different steps. So because we've already got um, the two end paths, we don't want to duplicate that. So I've, I've left that one um, turned off. I've got interpolation steps at three. So we've got three different steps and exponent. They're just evenly spaced, so we leave it at one. We can adjust this ourselves. So I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna press apply, and then we can get rid of our interpolation box. So I'm gonna select all of these sections. I'm gonna come up to ungroup, so we can ungroup the sections that we've just created. And I want to open up our align and distribute dialog box. I'm gonna click on this one up here. And what this allows us to do is to evenly space things and uh, line things up. So I want the distribute section and I want to add even spacing between them. So at the moment they're overlapping. So what I'm going to do is just click off and I hold control so I constrain my movement to vertical. We can just lift this up a touch. We can then click off, drag a box over the whole lot and we'll have another go because we want a little bit of space between them and we're evenly spaced them. Oh, we're still too close. Let's have another go then. Drag it up, holding on to control to about there. Click off, drag a box over the whole lot, and we we'll evenly space them. That's better. So while they're still selected, what I'm going to do is hold on to this top arrow. I'm going to drag it down a bit so we can compress them down so they're a better size for our letters. I'm going to group these together so we don't accidentally move them. We can drag them across. Are we big enough to cover? Oh, we're not quite big enough. So if we just hold on to the center arrow, we can just stretch it a little bit, make sure it covers our letters. We can then drop it down below the letters because we're going to use the letters as a clipping mask. So we drop it down so the letters are on top. So I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to select my text and we can come up to object, down to clip and over to set clip. And that creates our text effect. Slightly different, more muted colors over this side, but we've got the same effect. So that's this example complete. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.